Welcome to lesson number nine. Today we're going to learn the E and the N key, or keys. Now the reason I do this instead of go in a very particular order is simply because I don't uh, feel it's necessary. And also I'm trying to get you to be able to write with words faster. So some typing courses will make you do the entire first line, then the entire second line in a particular order, then there, but you're not writing words soon enough. And I wanna get you to writing words and feeling confident that you can. So we're gonna do the E and the N key. Let's start with E. And let's just do lowercase e. So put, all, put your fingers in their usual spot, and e will be done with your middle uh, finger, your left middle finger. So all you have to do is actually just rise it up. It feels like you have to go a little bit to the left, but really you just have to rise up from your D. So I want you to look away from the keyboard, look at your screen, make sure you have the typing program up. If not, pause the video. And uh, assuming you're ready, all you gotta do is move your middle finger up to press E, your left middle finger. And let's do this about 12 times. I think I just did it 20 times. And that's pretty much it. Let's do the capital version of E. So hold down shift with your right pinky finger. Try to keep your right index finger on J. And while you're holding it down, let's just tap E again. Don't look at your keyboard. If you don't trust yourself, you'll never get your eyes off the keyboard. You have to start trusting and be okay with failure. Failure. See, I just failed right there. I put a J there. So I'm going to use my right pinky finger to hit delete or backspace. And that's E. So you can practice that on your own. Let's move over to N. So I'm just going to press the return or enter key with my right pinky finger. And N is your index finger all the way down to N. So your index finger actually does a lot of work. It actually does N, well, it does J, N, H, Y, U, uh, and then seven. It doesn't really do six. I, I always go uh, with my left index finger for six. So anyway, so your, your pinky finger actually does quite a lot of uh, keys here. So let's do N. We'll do it about 12 times. So again, don't look at your keyboard. Just move, just move your right index finger down in like a centimeter to the left, and you'll hit it. You got to trust me and trust yourself. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and just keep tapping in. It'll feel weird at first. And now let's do a capital N. So space, and this time we'll use our left pinky finger to hold down shift. Don't look for it. Just assume it's in the bottom left of wherever your pinky finger is right now. Well, your pinky finger should be on A. So bottom left, and then let's use your index finger a little bit down and a little bit to the left. Perfect. And if you want to go over this, just pause the video and just go through it. So I'm going to press return twice and now we're going to do E-N-E-N. -E -N. Okay, here we go. So again, middle finger on E, left middle finger on E, right index finger on N. And again, for your left middle finger, you just go up, just go up from D. And your uh, right index finger just down in a centimeter to the left. And we're just going to do lower lowercase no spaces, E-N-E-N. -E -N. Great. And we'll do uh, a few a few capital with the shift. Uh, we're not going to use caps lock. We're going to keep practicing the shift because I like you practicing on both pinky fingers. So the first one will be the right pinky finger on shift because you're pressing E. Then the next one will be the left pinky finger because you're pressing N. So, and again, just go down to the left for your left pinky, down to the right for your right pinky, and trust that the key you're holding down is the shift key. Here we go. E, N. And a little trick is, I know I'm gonna be right so long as my index fingers are still on F and J. As usual, they're always the anchor. So as long as you've got those there, you're pretty much gonna get the right key about 98% of the time. I wanna say 100, but I don't want that to be legally binding. <laughs> and that's, that's good enough. 
So um, let's move on to some words. And the first word we're going to do today is uh, not, not the most positive word, but it's going to be the word dead. So D-E-A-D. -E and you'll notice it's all with your left hand. So D-E-A-D. -E oh, and we should do a space. So it's, it's only actually three keys, even though it's four letters. So D with your middle finger, E with your middle finger, A with your left pinky finger, and then D with your left middle finger. Everything is left. So uh, middle finger D, middle finger E, pinky finger A, and then middle finger D. There you go. And again, pause the video, practice this. Let's do another word. Next word we're going to do is the word Dan. So we're going to use the N key for this one. So D-A-N. So left index finger, left middle finger, left pinky finger, and then right index finger. Here we go. And you'll notice that I'm not moving to make sure that I'm anchored here. I'm actually, in order to keep myself centered and know what keys I'm hitting, instead of using the J key to make to, as a guide, I'm actually using my right pinky finger. So long as it is on its beginning position, then I know that I can keep my index finger up. So that's a little tip there. And that's, the, and that's that one. Here comes the next. Let's do fan, F-A-N. And let's do the name Dean. But this time, we're going to uh, use the shift key to make a capital every time. I'm gonna make you work for this. So hold down shift, D, let go of shift, E-A-N space. Let's continue. And if you can start to work on your speed, if you're feeling you're getting it, try to go as fast as I'm going. I'm going about half my speed, but you know, if you can get up to this speed, you're doing really good. My speed is because of years and years of doing this. All right, so let's do Jan. And we're going to do one more word after that. So uh, Jan as in January. So uh, we could do Jane as well, but let's do Jan first. J-A-N, whoa, space, J-A-N, space, J-A-N. And now let's do Jane. And that's a good enough review for today. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow. More likes I get, more positive comments I get, the more money YouTube gives me so I can keep giving you some free content. Have a great day.